What's up guys? Welcome back for another episode of Imperium. Well, in this episode, I pretty much got everything done so I can actually start moving on to where I'm going to put my uh, new base. I went ahead and dug a bunch more stone and I still haven't actually hit the bottom yet. <laughs> I mean, it's way, way down here. This is super deep. I can't believe that I haven't hit the bottom. I'm like, dang, man, that is a long ways down. I'm probably getting close, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I pretty much got everything out of here that I need. I went ahead and made a bunch of uh, concrete blocks so I can get started working on the base once I get the uh, area cleared out. It ain't too far away from here. I was thinking, and uh, I decided that I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to build my new base in the side of a mountain. Because I've seen some people on YouTube building their bases underground. So this is going to be like a kind of semi-above, below-ground base. You know, kind of sticking... I'm going to build it like way back under the mountain, but the front will kind of be towards the entrance. And I could just run some, like, walkways out through there and put some gun turrets actually, like, on the outside. Uh, which would probably be pretty cool looking, I think. I already cut a big outline. I mean, that right there is the outline, if you can see it. It's just a big square outline. I mean, that's where the base is going to be. I'm just going to cut, like, way back in there and take that whole big chunk out, maybe... 100 or 200 foot or <clears throat> something like that. I finally did try the drone and it actually does work for mining. Uh, somebody told me to use it for building which turned out pretty cool. So I decided uh, why not try to see if I can actually dig with it. And you can actually dig with your drone, but I mean, it only goes so far, so you have to exit out and, uh, like, move, which is, I mean, should be that way anyway. It's kind of weird. Definitely not really all that realistic. But it makes it a lot easier, so I can't really complain too much about it. If you didn't have it, you could still do everything. But it'd just be a little bit harder to do things. But I mean, as you can see, this is going to be a pretty epic build. I don't know how the attacks on my base are going to go. Since I never built a base underground or did anything like that on this game. I'm thinking it should be pretty cool. I figure they'll just, like, fly down to where the entrance is and try to like blow my stuff up from there uh, but they might start bombing the mountain and trying to blow the dirt away to like get me I'm thinking if they do i'll try to put some gun turrets like uh, on the walls out here like maybe put some platforms or something down and put turrets on it if i can that would be pretty awesome I just really don't want to build a base like out in the open again. I'd really rather build it uh, like kind of underground or something if I can. I want to make a fortress. <laughs> they done made me so mad attacking me over and over and over and over. I want to make something wicked. Lots of gun turrets, lots of sh protection. And just make it hell on them. Kind of looks like I'm cutting the outline for uh, Hoth. <laughs> like the base on Hoth. Star Wars Battlefront. Which I guess you could go to a snow world and do this right here. And actually just cut it out and make it look exactly like the one on Hoth if you wanted to. That'd be pretty cool. 
Definitely gonna take some time. I'll probably dig just a little bit in the video and then I'll just uh, skip past it. I have no idea how long this is actually gonna take. Probably like two or three hours of like digging or something. I don't have a way of repairing my drill. So I'll probably just have to make a new drill whenever this one breaks. I know you can build a repair bay, but I don't really want to fire my base back up by putting a core in it and risking them coming and attacking it again. So if it breaks, I'll just build another one. It takes a pretty good while for them to break anyway. This is like sculpting right here. This would probably take a wall with uh, two, two or three people. <laughs> One person, it's going to take some time. But I think it'll all be worth the trouble in the end. I kind of wish the drone would reach just a little bit further. No big deal, but man, would it be nice not having to stop and run to the left and run to the right. I don't really care about keeping the stone since stone is everywhere. Uh, I ain't even gonna worry about trying to take it and put it in boxes and keep it. Just be a waste of time. It's already gonna take a while to do this anyway. And I don't want to make it any longer than it's already going to be. This mountain is huge, though. I mean, it goes, like, back that way a pretty good ways. I originally thought about doing this right here, like, cutting this out maybe, like, 15 feet. And then building, like, a ramp. You know, just dig a ramp out going down even deeper and uh, building like that. But I think it'll look cooler like this. This is going to look more like a military thing. Something you'd see in like an anime. Yeah, or maybe certain kinds of games. If I would keep all this stone, I'd have a lot by the time I get done. Probably like seven or eight thousand or more. <laughs> Probably more than that. I find it to be pretty enjoyable though, it's fun. It's like I said, it's pretty wild how you get attacked on here so much. It's really a good thing that you get attacked so much. I don't know about turning it up higher than what I have it though. It'd probably still be fun, but it'd probably end up being really aggravating also. You have so many defenses and stuff that you can use. But, I mean, it really wouldn't matter if you turned it up. As long as you could get your base up and running, it would probably be okay. But it'd be hard to get it up and running. I had a pretty hard time getting that little one up and running. Of course, I didn't realize that you can just, like, take the core out and stuff and do it that way. But it's still hard because 
you have to have a base with a core to have like the constructors to build certain things. So you just have to. You could just cheat really and take the core in and out, in and out, in and out. And it'd probably be all right. You just have to be careful. Make sure you didn't leave it out like in too long. <laughs> and they just show up on your doorstep. And I'm barely making a dent in this bad boy. If I had a drilling machine, it probably wouldn't take as long. I thought about trying to build a drilling machine. I don't know how that would work with a hover vehicle. I mean, would a hover vehicle be able to hover high enough to mine? Like go down in there and then back out, go over and then go down in there and back out. I don't know if they can hover high like that or not. And I don't know if you can put the drilling stuff on a, like a aircraft. If you could, it'd be all right. That'll be something, I guess, to check out uh, later on. I still haven't built me a hover vehicle anyway. I'm going to sometime. I'll probably build me, like, a nice one before I leave this world. Put some cannons and stuff on it. That way, wherever I'm going, I'll have, uh, already have one built protection and being able to carry more cargo yeah I'll finish this first layer off and then I'll skip the video How far have I made it? <laughs> Not very far at all. I almost got the first layer down, though. I bet a lot of you out there is like, wow. <laughs> That's going to pick up forever. <laughs> Nightmare stuff. I just feel like it's time to build something cool. I already slapped together a base to get started. Now it's time to do something pretty cool. Just take my time. Really think uh, things through. Try to build something that looks awesome and functional also. And I just really wish there's mechs on this game or tank tracks with turrets that actually rotate. I mean, man, it sucks that they ain't. I need to sleep. Where'd I put my tent? Go one layer deep all the way across, down, all the way across, down, all the way across. I don't know how far back in the mountain I'll actually go. It doesn't really need to be too far. I was thinking maybe like around 200 feet or maybe 250 or something like that. This right here is what's messing me up because it's it's uneven right here. I need to go ahead and just cut this big uneven chunk off and try to make it completely flat across there. That way it won't be so confusing and annoying.
Reload, my friend. I don't know if there's a flattening tool on here. I was thinking maybe the advanced uh, multi-tool or whatever might be able to flatten stuff out. I'm gonna have to find something that can do flattening work because I can't stand the ground being so uneven on here. I hope there's a tool that does it. I'm gonna have to check that out after I get done carving all this out. Cause I know there's gonna be dips and stuff just like that. I uh, really, really hope there's a way to fill it in or flatten it out or smooth it or something. It's going to really, really suck if they ain't. Inventory full, inventory full. Well, it's a getting there. Well, I guess I'll just skip the video forward and keep on hammering away at this thing. Just chip away a little bit at a time. Okay, so here's what happened. I thought about trying to finish doing it with the regular drill, and I'll show you how far I made it using the regular <laughs> drill. I made it a pretty good ways, honestly. I quit for a little bit and come back. Cause I, I just like, oh man, this is gonna take forever. I'm just gonna take a break for a while. Then I come back and drilled some more. And uh, made it a pretty good ways, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to make a uh, drilling machine. I'm just going to use the blueprints, though. I mean, I got a big chunk took out of it, but it just took way too long. I'm hoping that the hover vehicle will hover high enough for me to, like, get up there up high and chop that out. Because I need to go back at least, at least this much right here one more time. And then I can mine all of that down through there out, all the way back the same. And then if I want to, I can go deeper underground as I build, or I can go further back in the mountain that way, because this mountain is huge. It just gets bigger the further you go that way. But I think I'm just going to use a blueprint. Let's see. I was looking at... Uh, you can get small vessels with drills but I don't see any of these with drills on them unless they're just somewhere where you can't really see them which I could just get one and put the drill on it but I decided I'm just gonna go with uh, a hover vehicle it's already like that one right there is the one I'm gonna get I guess the Polaris miner it's not too expensive I just got to get the resources to make it and I'm already in the process of uh, doing that I should done have all the iron bars and copper bars and stuff I need. I just have to check on uh, the other stuff. The handheld drill will get you there pretty quick, but it's slow. Compared to having uh, like a hover vehicle. <laughs> I don't want to build a drilling machine. I just don't have enough resources at the moment to really do something like that. Yeah, I need to leave these in here, actually. That should be, that's 340. Oh, I gotta have. Uh, almost, like right there at. I got enough copper. Uh, silicone. What 
was it? Just regular silicone? Yeah, it takes the uh, silicone ore. Which one's the silicone ore? Oh, okay, that's what it is, that weird looking stuff. Yeah, I got some of that in here. I probably got some in the base, too. So, I need 192 of those. That won't be no big deal. Well, I don't know. Does it really only give you one at a time? Nah, it's got to give you more than that. Copper gives you a couple. Iron gives you a couple. Yeah, ten. That's what I was thinking. So that gives you ten. Yeah, just make a bunch until it gets done. So that'll take care of the silicone, the copper, and all I need is carbon substrate and a little bit of iron. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my ride and take off and go get some iron and the carbon substrate. I think I was getting it. It's been a while. I think I was getting it out of the graphite pits. Uh, iron. Don't need a whole lot of iron, though. I like how you can use the blueprints. It's pretty cool. Of course, like, you really want to build your own stuff. Naturally, I mean, or at least I do, anyway. But I just uh, can't right now. That'll be something I'll have to do later. Once I get a base established and I can actually... Like, get me a ship and I can travel around this little solar system that I'm in, and then I'll actually have supplies and resources and be able to actually make what I want to make. Hey, there's some. <laughs> Not sure how much I need. Probably not too much. Just want to make sure I got everything I need when I go back. should be a plenty on the iron. The substrate's what's going to take a little bit. Luckily, it's not really heavy, though. I think my base is going to be really cool, though. I hope it works, because it's going to suck if it don't after going through all this work. They just come by and drop a big bomb on top of a mountain and blow it up. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. <laughs> I don't know how they do whenever you're underground. Hiding like a rat. Man. Yeah, 
Yeah, it should be enough. Now iron, how much iron do I have in here? 340. Hopefully that'll make enough. I ain't really carrying anything heavy. I need to leave something. I don't know what though. I think, I think I'll just throw my guns in here. Or these things. And this right here. And definitely get rid of that. That's my pro... Or, yeah. My bars. Fruit bars. They went to the bad. <laughs> That's really annoying. I'm gonna have to find some food pretty soon. Graphite empty. And that's a pretty good ways away. I guess it doesn't matter if you decide to leave your base. I guess you just pull the core and then take off if you want to. you're really worried about your base getting attacked I guess it'd be like it'd work at what it should All I gotta do dig down there to it yeah I don't think I've ever dug this one there it is that beautiful stuff Go ahead and open it up a little bit here. Shouldn't take too long with the drill. No, though, it is a lot. I think it's like 800 and something. <laughs> yeah, 828. It's quite a bit. Probably skip this part. Back at the base, I have 1,016 carbon substrate. <laughs> Man, that's a lot. But now I think I should have everything I need. All I gotta do is put it in my inventory and build it. Let's see, iron 445. Uh, I think I put it in the other one. No, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see, there's iron, carbon substrate. Actually, how's that gonna work? Now maybe I can like link it to the container or something. Wonder if that's possible. Never really messed with this stuff, so I have no idea. Oh, you gotta have these unlocked: the hover constructor, small generator, medium thruster, small hover engine detector. Thought I had all that unlocked. Ah. The hover constructor. What in the world is that? Eh, 
maybe that's a hover vessel thing. There it is, a hover constructor. Okay, what else? Small generator, medium thrusters. Let's see, thrusters. Small hover engine and detector container. Man, that thing takes a lot of stuff. Imagine trying to build something big. Like, that would be insane. Hover engine. Detector and container extension. Okay, detector, container. Might as well go ahead and unlock that too. There's a detector. Where in the world's a container extension? Ah, uh ah. -huh. Hover, I thought I already did that. Does it not go away as you unlock stuff? Yeah, I guess it does. Hover booster. Thought I already had that one. No. That's the thing that makes you jump. I don't know what it's like, never used it. The harvest controller. Mechanical drill. Okay, where is the mechanical drill? Large mechanical drill. I wonder what it's like. Laser drills. A tool turret. Wonder what it does. Well, that ought to be everything. Okay, now how does this work? Add to factory. So I can just throw them in there, I guess. Oh, okay, that's cool. I was kind of wondering how in the world you're going to do that. Not being able to, like, carry, but so much.
Copper! Gotta have the copper. And there it is. Okay, now what do I do? It says blueprint production completed. Dang, that thing's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Heck yeah! <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's nice. Pretty cool. Got a constructor. Where's the fuel? Fuel storage. Okay, where's the fuel tank? Harvest controller. Container extensions. Well, dang, where is the fuel? Oh, there it is. It's got two small fuel tanks. I'm not going to be firing this up for a while, so I wonder how much I can get out of it. <laughs> Five. Eighteen. Yeah, but will it go in the fuel tank? Oh, heck yeah, I filled it up. Let's go ahead and fill up both of them. That one's already full. I don't know, maybe they're both linked together. Well, that hover's pretty good. That probably, that might hover high enough me to do what I need to do. I don't know. Man, <laughs> that thing's awesome. Doesn't turn very good, though. I kind of don't like that. I could put one of them things on it. Uh, can't remember what they're called. RV something or RC something. They make it where you can turn a lot better. This is one of them you got to use the arrow keys to turn. If it had some more of them things on it, though, you wouldn't have to. I don't like having to use arrow keys. It's got lights. Oh, yeah, we got lights. Nice drilling machine. See how good it actually works. Oh yeah. <laughs> Speed the process up.
The only thing is, it won't hover high enough for me to get the top up there. I might have to put some extra boosters underneath it if I can. That's probably what I'll have to do, because it's going to have to just hover higher than that. Gonna have to go up higher than that, definitely. I'll just go ahead and shut it down and uh, go try to make a booster. I like it though, it's pretty awesome. Big. <laughs> A lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. What kind of thruster is this thing using? Ah, uh, small hover engines. Yeah, I'll just go make... Let's see. Four, maybe. Try four. Put two in the back and two in the front. See if it stays balanced or not. Just need to get it up a little bit higher than that if I can. I think you'd probably be better off to use a small flying vessel and then just put drills on it if you could keep it from like nose diving because of the extra weight. If you're just trying to do something like I'm doing anyway, which I doubt many people ever do. probably have to use the thing inside maybe Let's see. hover eh, that ain't too bad this radiation is killing me I'm running out of food all the time is killing me too I can't power my base back up to run my refrigerator <laughs> or my cooker without getting attacked. I could just go look for some uh, some plant stuff though. You know, I might just take this one and die from starvation. I don't really care. I'm busy trying to do something right now anyway. And if I die, I can spawn right back over at my tent. After I get my new base up and running, I might just use the tool and remove all everything here, break everything back down, and move all the material to my new base. That'd probably be the best thing to do. Moving up in the world, got a drilling machine now. I could build me a tank off of here. I was thinking about it. That's that mech I built. I never did publish it or anything. It's pretty cool. It's about as close to mech stuff as you're gonna get on here, which I wish it had a actual mech stuff. But uh, it was pretty cool. I might get on creative sometime and go back and check it out. That's another one I built, Dumpy. It's like a little truck thing. And that was like four years ago pretty sure somewhere around like four years I downloaded that one somebody told me about those they're pretty cool but I mean they still are hover you know they're not actual mechs unfortunately that boxer tank looks pretty cool I'm gonna have to pick one of these tanks to build. Cause I really do need a armored vehicle with guns on it. I just don't want to try to build something that's gonna take a lot of stuff. I 
That one right there looks pretty cool, but I think it's only got one cannon on it. That kind of sucks. That one looks like it might have five, maybe more. That thing's probably big, but it looks really cool. That's a lot of stuff. Ain't no way I'd be able to build that. Maybe I can just build like a, build one of these simple tanks and then try to add on to it a little bit. Bessie. <laughs> I got them off the workshop. 1001, uh, what was it, 101 Dalmatians? Yeah. That crazy lady on there. I don't know. Something like that right there is not half bad. I mean, it's got a turret on top of it. Could definitely build onto it a little bit and maybe add two more guns. I like the blueprint thing a lot. It is really cool, but it just feels weird actually building all this stuff in the game. Like, pretty early on, too. I mean, you have to get, like, certain level to unlock certain things. But I feel like it's just a cheat in the game, honestly. I think it would be better if they would set it up to where you had to get to a certain level and build like some kind of module or something at your base, like some kind of factory module crafting thing or something. And then it unlock all this stuff for you to build. But have like dealers in the game that you can buy all this stuff off of them. Also, if you don't want to get the part, hook it up to, up to your base, and then start building this stuff. You can just go find one of them dealers, like a vehicle dealership basically, and buy one of them with credits or whatever. I mean, I think that would be a lot cooler than just outright being able to build stuff like as soon as you start the game. It just doesn't feel as, for, like, fulfilling to me being able to do that. Like, I'd get way more pleasure out of it if I had to actually work and build a base and then build some kind of factory assembly module or something. And then I could go collect materials and start building blueprint stuff. Or maybe go out and build a ship and take off and go find a, a dealer, a vehicle dealer on like a space station somewhere or some colony and then just buy a vehicle. Just be way, way cooler. So I only got two, huh? Well, dang. What was it it took? Where is it? Where is it? Motor, electronics, optical fiber, plastic tubes. I ain't firing this base back up because I ain't getting attacked right now. I don't want to get attacked right now. Let's see. It was tubes. Electronics, motors, wire, and I can't remember what else. Let's throw all this in here. Let's hope four is enough. I might have should have built the big ones. I 
Definitely gonna break this down though, because I can use the materials to build at my other base. I should be able to break them guns down and then rebuild them again at my other base. Come on, hurry up. I'm almost dead. I don't want to have to drive all the way back over here. It's old solar panels. I don't know how I'm going to do that base over there because it's it's going to be underground pretty much, so... Not too sure on that one about the solar power stuff. Okay, that should be enough to do it. Getting ready to starve. <laughs> Die before I get back. I'm just gonna wait till daylight. I don't care if I die or not. I don't like trying to do stuff at night time. <sighs> He's drunk. He's like super drunk. Drinking and driving. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. And I'm probably going to have to... Man, I don't know. I can't break anything. I need to just wait till I die because I can't do this when he's having a drunk fit. <laughs> Everything's just way out of whack. Make you feel drunk looking at it. Ah, hurry up, scream, die. You're too late. I already died. Creepy critters. Nah, there ain't no way that's the only one around here. Them things always travel in packs. I hate how the gun kicks like that. It's weird. <laughs> I need to change it. I don't like it. Okay, now. Try to figure this out. I can't break anything. Not around there, anyway. I could break that one. And that one, I guess. I don't think those are important. I think those are just regular blocks. I'll have to go get my tool. I think I can put one there and one there and then up here. 
Yikes. Let's see. I might just try to put one in the middle, maybe, up here. Put it, like, right there. See how that goes. Maybe it won't unbalance it. I don't even know if it'll go higher or not. I ain't never really messed with them. Just kind of learning as I go here. I hate how it loads up like that. I wish it would. I don't know though. I might be able to change it in the settings, but I'm pretty sure everything's like wide open. I can tell because the game's kind of getting chunky. It's chunking along here. Because <laughs> all them particles from the thrusters throwing uh, up off the ground. That still won't go any higher. Dang. Well, I guess I can still use it to cut everything out except that top layer. I guess I can go back and do the top layer with a regular drill. Better than trying to do it the other way. Oh, it's a trying. This is gonna get like this is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> I'm not used to using these things. My God, that's so much faster. Yeah, yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> like how long it took with that other drill. Done made it that far. That's crazy. I just wish it'd go higher. That sucks. I don't want to mess the roof up either by trying to do it like that. Get everything uneven and it won't look right.
Don't care about capacity. Just gotta find the right hover height for everything. Yeah, it looks good. Definitely way better, but you're still going to have to come back with the drill and do like touch-up work and stuff, but it's definitely worth getting one of them. See if I can get down here and make the floor level. See how accurate it is. Very good. Definitely sucks that I still have to do that that way. But I can live with having to do one layer. <laughs> That's way better than having to do all of it. So I ain't gonna complain too much. After I get this base cut out, I'm probably going to go ahead and build a tank. Get enough material together and get a tank. And then start working on the base. I don't know how gravity works on here on the digging thing. I hope it doesn't collapse or anything like that. I mean, it'd be cool if the game was set up that way. I wouldn't complain about it, but I don't know if it is or not. <laughs> if it collapses, it's going to really suck. Seven Days to Die was like that, but they kind of changed it around. Yeah, I guess if you're doing stuff way up in the air like this, you'd want to get a small v flying vehicle and put drills on it instead of getting the hover vehicle and getting drills on it. That way you could get uh, everything up high above you. I would take the time to build one and try to hook drills onto it, but... I think I'll be fine just doing it with this. See how far I've gotten with this. I think that might be... I'm going to have to go a little bit deeper, probably... At least half that again, like in there. Oops, stuck in a hole. Now 
Then start going down here and doing this side. I already got the outline ready, so that'll be easy. I just get in there. It'll be a lot quicker this time. I can just get in there with that drill and mine all it out and then clear the top layer out. And it'll be ready to start building in there. Man, that's really cool. Whoever built that did a good job. I was kind of worried it wouldn't work good because of that big open place in the middle. Seems like they'd have put a drill right there. But it works great. A lot of detail. That's what I'm saying when you're building vehicles on here. If you don't have the time and lots of resources, it's hard to make them look cool. Like that's why I want to go ahead and get me a, a nice base set up with lots of defenses and stuff so I can actually take my time and build stuff. Make it look nice and cool looking. Take it over here and go uh, into this one side just to see what it's like. Push it a little bit. Where my hover level up? About right there. <laughs> Dang. That was so easy. It cut a good looking hole too. It's almost perfectly round. It looks like it kind of tried to elevate though as it was going, like it's kind of going uphill a little bit. But that's probably my bad. Probably need to push down on it a little bit as uh, it goes. That way it doesn't do that. That or just make another pass. Which I could have been going too fast too is what caused it to do that. Probably better off to just go a little bit slower with it. end up with a more smooth level tunnel. Yeah. Better off to go slow with it. Well, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this layer over here. I'm going to park under here. <laughs> I don't want this thing blowed up. Better not nobody attack this thing. Thing was expensive. Took a lot kinds of material. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna kill this video right here. Uh, in the next video, I'll just already have all this mined out, and then I can just relax and do like a whole video of just uh, building a really cool looking base and stuff. That'll be a lot of fun to do, try to make it look cool. I was thinking I might be able to, if it'll let me, because I don't really know exactly how it works, maybe I could run, like, little towers up through the mountain, and, like, they come out on the top up there, and then put, like, platforms on them for wind turbines, and maybe some platforms, like, here and there with uh, gun turrets and stuff on them. I mean, that would be really cool. Solar panels, wind turbines, gun turret platforms. I mean, I definitely want to try to turn it into an impregnable fortress. Definitely. 
But yeah, that's uh, up for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and checking out this really cool drilling machine that somebody made on Steam Workshop. Pretty awesome. But uh, be sure to jump in next time and uh, stick around for more videos. Be sure to go down to my description and check out my other YouTube channel. I keep a link to it down there and you check out my schedules. I'm not going to be changing my schedules anytime soon from what I'm doing. I mean, I'm doing this, which I plan on doing this for a pretty good while. Definitely until I beat the game, like the main story. Or, you know, maybe if the game glitches out and something happens or something, I mean, I might quit. But uh, as long as everything keeps going smooth and no issues or anything, I plan on doing this for a while. So if you're worried about me stopping that, uh, don't be. You can go ahead and subscribe and stick around. And go on this journey through Imperium Galactic Survival Reforged Eden with me. I'm also doing Sandland right now, doing a playthrough on it. And then whenever I get done with it, I'm going to move on to another game and do a playthrough on it also. So if you're interested in watching playthroughs on games, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching.